I bought Batman in Fortnite, so you don't have to. However, you might want to, actually, believe it or not. Uh, Jill is here with me today. Hi. This is not a Let's Play video, but we are going to be talking about a game we played recently, which is Fortnite. It's actually kind of fun. You know, everyone kind of memes on it and jokes about it. I get why people like it. It's really fun. It's actually very fair for the most part in its mechanics. Unlocking the map, very cool. But for the most part, we're going to be talking about our man, Batman. And Jill refuses to build no matter what happens for some reason. She refuses I, to build. I just don't like building all that much. This is my one flaw with the game, but I'm sure I'll get better at it. And I think it's cool that you can do and that. And if you hear reindeer bells, it's Jill's Sailor Moon earrings that I bought her that sound like reindeer bells whenever she moves her head. I don't know if that's it's, even getting picked up. I don't know. It's ASMR, though. <laughs> hey, before we hop into it, a couple things that I want to point out. Um, one is that we have been really trying to grow the secondary channel recently, Degenerate Plays, where we play through all kinds of different games together. Uh, me and Jill play through games. Me and Nate. Me, Nate, and Jill. Me and T. Me, Nate. Wait, now, me, Jill, and T. Now, let's... A lot of people, I think, usually skip by this part. Let me just explain, you know, we're not just advertising. We really care about that channel. That's where we hang out. That's where we have a lot of fun. That's where the best jokes are made. That's where you get the most Nate content. I know you guys love Nate. The best content to cancel me with? To yes. soundbite? Yes. It's actually, you know, we have some controversial conversations on there. Check it out. It's pretty cool. You know? I like to think it's cool. I think it's cool. But I don't know. I've never been the king of cool, as someone would say. Oh, you're the king of... Uh... King K. Rule. <laughs> so with Batman, though, in Fortnite, I think it's important to jump right into it. This game was something I was expecting to not enjoy at all. I thought it was going to be really dumb. I thought it was going to be really stupid and for children. Now, mm -hmm. look, I like plenty of things that are for children. I enjoy Winnie the Pooh. Mm -hmm. I know? like Barbies. Uh, yeah, you love Barbies. Uh, I think they're pretty too, to be completely honest with you. There's mm -hmm. a lot of different things that we enjoy that are not exactly directed at, you know, primarily adults. Another thing is you love My Little Pony. Um, I do. I love a lot of the Disney films that I guess are ageless, but they're generally directed at kids. Yeah. You know, so it's not like I'm averse to that. Like, I, I just hate it. But going into it, I was a high school teacher for a while, for those of you who don't know. And the one thing that I never heard the frickin' end of, other than about the Marvel movies, was about Fortnite. <laughs> Mr. J! What? Uh, you're... <laughs> have, you, have you played the season three of Battle Pass? Yeah, that's all I would hear. <laughs> that's literally it. I mean, like, every day. So to me, that kind of killed a lot of my interest in this game. But going into it, I kind of expected some of the same stuff as Call of Duty. And this is gonna be, I guess, a bit of a weird Fortnite review, in a way. Because I was expecting this. I was expecting kind of lackluster, boring skins. I was expecting a battle pass that is designed to make you buy tier skips. That's what, in my opinion, Call of Duty does. Mm -hmm. I mean, just look at how slowly you progress in each tier in it, Call of Duty. It's kind of ridiculous. It is ridiculous. It really, I think, is designed to get you to get COD points to skip tiers. And I was expecting a lack of interesting mechanics um, and a game that was, like I said, aimed at children. The one thing I've always liked about Fortnite was the graphics, the Pixar-y looking graphics. But then we got into the game and it was colorful and gorgeous, first of all. It was eye-popping, you know, and that's kind of what drew me in the fir at first. And then we realized, hey, the battle pass is actually really worth it. You, you level up kind of quickly. It's really fun. It makes you feel good about yourself, I well, guess. Well, this season too, you got Lara Croft. I, yeah, I got Lara, Lara Croft and she is my favorite girl of all time. Um, and I was really, really excited to unlock her. It's not one of those games that you have to pay for absolutely everything under the sun to get. If you just spend a few dollars, well, I guess it's more than a few dollars. It's like eight, I think, or yeah. eight to ten for the battle pass each yeah. season. If you just spend eight to ten on the battle pass, you get so much stuff pretty easy and it's really worth it and that's something i really like about the game it's not you spending 10 bucks for one skin you know one thing i also loved about batman in this game was the uh the dramatic flare to him so like for example when you pop out your um batwing glider like your batman zero glider or whatever they call it in the game a bunch of bats appear in the air and stuff that's so as cool like a flare. Um, when you land, you know, it looks very interesting. You're using a version of the bat grapple as like a melee weapon, which I think is interesting. And this was very clearly designed after the zero year version of Batman. Um, at the very least the, you know, battle worn version of it later on, which I'm sure Jill can show in the mm -hmm. editing. And he looks um, awesome in it. Yeah. It pulled right out of the comics in a lot of ways. Yeah. Now there's 
there was a version I would have loved even more than this with like the purple gloves and stuff like that from Zero Year, but I, I actually really like this costume. And walking around, it was interesting. Um, poor Jill who's editing this, you don't have to show all this stuff, mm -hmm. but you know, I saw so many characters from different things in this game. Which it's, I think is worth noting. It's so incredible. There are there's so many characters. Like, it's a predator. <laughs> if you have a somebody that you really like that you really want to play as, look up Fortnite, and they probably have that character that you want to play as. It's Within so much reason, fun. Yeah, I mean, like Predator was in there. Um, the alien was in there. Sarah Connor, Ellen Ripley. I Thanos. Know the, yeah, there's a lot of Marvel characters. We saw Mystique and Venom. Uh -huh. um, I saw Groot the other day. Mm -hmm. You know, and I know that those are not like specifically based around Batman. But the point is I wouldn't have seen all this stuff if they hadn't put Batman in the game because seeing him in the promotional loading screen and then seeing Lara Croft as well when we've been, you know, playing through Tomb Raider Legend on our second channel together mm -hmm. and having a really good time. I was like, oh, I didn't know they had these characters in this game. It actually made me want to try it out. Not to mention they also have Poison Ivy and Joker, which Poison Ivy looks beautiful. And they have Raven, which she also looks beautiful. They've got multiple different outfits and skins for all of the characters that you can get, or at least most of the characters that you can get in the game. Um, and the game is so open world and it has so many quests in it that it's not just your typical battle royale. It's really fun. I was actually impressed with the map build. Like, so there's a lot of very unique areas with different NPC characters you can talk to that will actually give you a quest in the game where you can buy something from them, like a gun or um, their support. Like you can get them to help you in combat, things like that. Um, that are unique at different locations and also the map unlocks as you find areas so you can go to any area right away but they'll all be grayed out when you turn it on the first time and then you find them and the question marks go away it gives you xp for discovering it and it was actually kind of a i guess rpg mechanic like in fallout 4 where you'll go to an area and it'll be like hey good job buddy you found this area here's like you know 100 xp i love that in it games it's so much fun you. yeah, yeah it, it encourages exploration and i love exploration so you get exploration you get fun quests you get an rpg kind of game and you can beat up other kids in the game and you know <laughs> beat up other kids i'm gonna be honest a lot of the people who play the game aren't the best at shooting i'm not the best at shooting but it's pretty fun when you win i mean listen it's like if you're not very good at like something like Call of Duty and you're just first starting out with something that's a shooter or fighting and you know, you're younger, especially if you're a younger gamer, this is a really good game for you to start out with and start getting better at using controllers and such. We are not sponsored, by the way. No, but I just think- <laughs> Even though we're being overwhelmingly positive about Fortnite. Well, if I was a young kid and I first got into gaming, this would be a really good game for me to practice getting better at things on. You know, and it's fun. It's really fun. And I think I'm really glad that it's so popular now, actually. <laughs> it's actually weird because we've been playing a lot of GTA Online and going from how toxically annoying a lot of the community is in GTA Online, where they'll like go out of their way to sabotage you and annoy you when you're in the middle of your own quest, just for no reason, just for the benefit of being a dick mm -hmm. and getting nothing out of it. Um, kind of swapping to this game, from that and from COD, where it's just constantly people cheesing sniper rifles and exploits they found and trying to get under the map and glitch the game. It was a refreshingly fair experience. Now, one thing I'll say that I love too, Jill kind of touched on this with how fair it is with the mechanics. It's actually surprising to me that none of the skins give you bonuses. So being Batman, other than, you know, being Batman, of course. Um, doesn't make your stats any different. You know, mm -hmm. like using the bat grapple um, melee weapon, it's not necessarily like, oh, you're going to get more damage than some other melee weapon. Like a default skin character with a default pickaxe picking up guns on the map, they're at about the same level of advantage as you are, even if you spent $100 on microtransaction cosmetics. This is something sorely lacking in modern shooters that encourage you to buy loot boxes to affect gameplay sometimes, to buy guns in Call of Duty that actively have different stats than each other. Like, it is ridiculous to me in Call of Duty, you go in and there have been people buying the Dragon's Breath shotgun because it's OP and broken and you spent, you can spend money on versions of this shotgun that are better statted versions of guns already in the game. Mm -hmm. That's not a thing here. Yeah, and that's 
is you don't have to dump hundreds of dollars to have as much fun in this game as you possibly can. You know, if you want to just download this game for free and have a couple of matches, you'll be having just as much fun as somebody who paid for a bunch of cool skins. And you know what? It's fun to play with a bunch of cool skins. I would gladly spend the money on them. Yeah. If, I mean, you know, if you have it, you know? It's one of the few games where I'd say the Battle Pass to me doesn't seem like a ripoff. Yeah. Um, there are certain things in the store which to me seem too expensive, but the Battle Pass itself I am impressed with, absolutely. And the thing with those things that are a little too expensive is a lot of the game is free and it's very fair, so I get why it's a little more expensive and you're also not being kind of forced into needing to buy those things to get better at the game. It's also a thing too where it's like mobile games. Would I prefer the game to just be 30 bucks and you get everything, personally? Yeah. Yes, I would. But I also understand that if the game is free and you're asking for certain things on the side that don't affect gameplay, I don't care too much. I know mm -hmm. some gamers hate that to death. In an ideal world, I would not have that. Mm -hmm. um, but, you know, I guess it's sad to think that the comparison to me for things like Halo 5's loot boxes, you know, with some of the stuff going on there, and also, um, you know, Call of Duty Warzone and multiplayer of Modern Warfare and Black Ops Cold War of, like, these stat-changing weapons and things like this. It has made it so common to see stat-changing buy-ins in shooters that aren't cosmetics, which was never supposed to be the point. It was always supposed to be, like, something pretty that you have that's exclusive to you or whoever mm -hmm. bought it, um, and that's it. This got rid of that problem, I think, which is nice to see. Do you have anything else, Jill, before we kind of finish this up? Uh, if you love anime girls, you can play as anime girls in the game, and they look awesome. That is true. It, it's really cool. Batman looks awesome. All of the superheroes slash supervillains you can play as look awesome. If you want to see um, Predator eating popcorn as Batman dances in front of him like a madman, you can do that. The dancing is really cool and it's fun, silly. actually. It's so stupid. I like it a lot. Um, <laughs> it's like a new take, I guess. It's like something different in a game. That like It's a game about killing people. But you get to dance in the lobby. I do hope that in the future, games like Call of Duty, um, you know, that seem to be trying to do certain crossovers, which I would argue probably makes as much money as Fortnite, you know, Call of Duty. Mm -hmm. Why not throw in the Predator? You know, why not throw in, I don't know, a RoboCop or someone like that? I mean, Mortal Kombat and Injustice, like the NetherRealm games, which are fighting games, have been so good with that, of like bringing in guest characters that also fit the game. Uh, RoboCop. Rambo, Spawn, you know, all those characters, Joker even in MK11, characters like the TMNT um, in Injustice. Why not do that sort of thing and have fun with it? And that's, I guess, going away from, or like ending this video for me, the biggest thing I like about Fortnite is I feel like the game doesn't take itself too seriously and it's trying to have fun, which makes it a lot easier for me to have fun um, because it seems like everybody is there to have a good time. Sorry, my phone went off. That's okay. You're a popular woman. I understand. Uh, yes, I am. I think it's a really good casual fun game. It's not a game that you're going to go into and leave feeling extremely frustrated and annoyed with. Like, last night in GTA, somebody blew up all of our stuff just to be a jerk. They didn't get anything out of it just to make us sad and we left it and we were like ugh, that wasn't fun yeah it made me actually not want to play the game for like a week i'm actually taking a break from it but with games like fortnite you know you you go in and even when you lose it's like i had a lot of fun doing that those guys were pretty good at their with their shooting and their building and i had fun doing that and it was enjoyable you yeah, know i agree so let us know what you think in the comments down below. Have you ever played this game? Would you ever give it a chance? Are you interested in it? What are your thoughts on it? I know the community of this game is very off-putting to some people in terms of just how seriously kids take Fortnite. Luckily, you don't um, have to talk to them, though. No, you really don't. You can really <laughs> just ignore all those people and I think have a fun time. And that's why I play video games, you know, is to have a fun time with people I like, not random people. Yeah, that's why you just um, gotta either grab your own friends or, you know... They are our solo solo player modes where if you know you're someone who just likes hanging it solo like I was for a long time, you can just play solo and it's just as much fun. Yeah, there's a lot of ways around it. So let us know what you think in the comments down below. Be sure to leave a like if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe for more content. Hey, YouTube is not sending out a lot of notifications for our uploads, so be sure to click that notification bell to turn on notifications and enable all of them so you can actually see when we're uploading, live streaming, any of that stuff. We'll see you in the next one. Have a fantastic day. Check out the merch shop in the description down below. Uh, Jill's merch shop and stay shway.